Okay, good morning. Had a nice day out today, so we're going to work on the steering. Um, I'm standing here in the lazarette in the cockpit. Then I got these open for light and ventilation. I like keeping my workspace clean so the vacuum's out. Ratchet set, tool set. Back there, the yellow is our torch, propane torch. I think it's propane, I don't know, some type of gas. And of course, fire extinguisher. So, last night I um, sprayed the bolts with some anti seize, some penetrating fluid. So, hopefully, that's been well, it's been marinating overnight, but hopefully, that's worked. So, the idea first is to clean up the space. Um, and then just go at it with hand tools and wrenches. And then if that doesn't work, heat it up with the propane, do hand tools and, and wrenches when it's hot. Then if that doesn't work, um, impact driver, which I don't actually have, but would be nice to have. So might be a shopping trip today. Devin's not listening. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. So let's let's get started. There we go, down in the hole. Over back here. So first step we're gonna do is some cleaning. So we really like these uh, crocodile wipes. Just picked them up at Home Depot. They're really nice. Um, and then I got my trash bag there to throw them away. So this is what we're going to be working on today. That is the radial wheel drive, that big round disc up there, uh, radial wheel drive. That's my goal to get out today. And that's those bolts um, back there. Uh, let's see, these bolts uh, here. And here, and there's two more on the other side. Those are the ones that I um, sprayed the penetrating fluid on. And you can see that it's leaked down. That orange down there is the fluid. So, and then there's some shavings over here, like metal shavings from when we took off the quadrant drive. So, I don't want to be sitting in metal shavings all day. So, we'll get that cleaned up. And then we'll start to pull off the radial wheel drive. It's gonna be fun. All right, update. <sighs> I was able to get the single nut off of the set screws. Let me show you guys what that looks like. So, the way this works is there's a through bolt. Let me turn this a little bit so you can kind of see that better. Oh, there we go. All right, so these bolts here go through and screw into threads here. There's two, and then there's those two on the other side. And then, see this line? It's two pieces, so this is a sandwich construction. So when you tighten these bolts down, it clamps on to the rudder shaft. So, what I was able to get done is this bolt here that goes all the way through the water rudder shaft to an, uh, and it sticks out a little bit over here with a nut. So I was able to get that nut off, which is good, but I can't get, these won't budge at all. So, and then the other side too, these four just won't budge. So we are going with the second plan B, a little heat to heat up the metal um, maybe burn off any contaminants that are in there, you're getting stuck. Um, and then the metal, of course, expands when it's heated up and then contracts back. So um, we'll give that a try. We've got our 916 on our um, ratchet here. So we'll get the heat going and of course, safety first with the fire extinguisher because it's a tight area and fiberglass uh, loves to burn hot and quick so 
we are good to go. So let's get some, some heat on this and see if that'll help us out. to go to Home Depot <sighs> to get some tools. Got me that. Milwaukee Fuel M12 uh, Impact Right Angle. So, <clears throat> and we got this little light too. It was fun. But, um, so this little light, yeah, same, just takes the 12 M12 battery right there. It's pretty cool. Anyway, <clears throat> let's give you an update. So this bolt here, I've drilled in pretty much all the way to the end of the sandwich construction. And that was the one, I spent four hours on that one. So, wasn't making much progress, so let's turn this around and see our bolts there. Let's take our light and show you guys our bolts. There we go. That one and that one. I was able to actually get this one loose just with the ratchet, but it just it took a ton of force that. <sighs> yeah, um, so that's why this guy's in here. So let's get him set up and let's see how that goes. Okay, here we go. Attempt number one. Nothing. Let's turn up the torque. That was on the low, uh, weakest speed. Let's turn it on to um, the second speed. Nothing. Turn it on the third speed. <laughs> Nothing. Let's turn it on the highest speed. All right, I'm gonna keep working at it. Let's see if I can break it free. It didn't budge. And Devin said it's too loud. So I have to stop for the night. All right, I'm gonna be done for the night. But what I'm gonna do is clean up a little bit so it's mostly clean for the morning and I'm going to um, spray some penetrating fluid on it let it sit overnight all right see you guys in the next one bye okay here I am day two well day two of this weekend <laughs> back in the hole um, so, <clears throat> just do a little recap. Yesterday, we were able to get one nut off of the, the set screw that goes all the way through. And then I was able to drill this out to about the sandwich mark. Because um, again, these are two halves and they sandwich and squeeze together with these four bolts. Um, so, I have let the penetrating fluid sit in overnight and it's kind of nice let's see if I can move this for you guys with one hand it's kind of a pain with one hand but all right. yeah here we go so those bolts actually they don't go all the way through which is I think I'm gonna change when we reinstall this but see those two holes back there um, these so I sprayed penetrating fluid in there too so 
what I'm gonna hopefully gonna do this morning is be able to use our fancy new new impact wrench that we got and uh, use it to get try to get this one off because this is the one that I've been working on drilling out. So let's uh, let's get uh, give that a try. But what we're gonna do is um, heat it up first with our torch here and then we'll get the impact wrench on it. So impact wrench, torch. So let's do the torch first for about 60 seconds and then get the impact out. No movement on these two, but look at what happened over here. So I just uh, was able to get this one out and that one is on the back side over there. Um, let me move this for you guys so you can see. It just takes a little bit of force because you're moving the whole rudder by hand, basically. Okay, there we go. So that one on the top there is this guy. Came out with the impact. No drilling needed. So that's fantastic. And now we have a bolt to that we can use for our size which is nice because if we go back over here <clears throat> like this so this is the one down here that I've been drilling on oh like for four hours yesterday so if that is in there like that we can see that our threads stop pretty much right at the sandwich part. This is hot, it's hard to hold. But um, that's actually quite good news because if we continue our drilling, um, we know that if we just have to really just drill through to the sandwich part and then our threads um, won't be biting anymore. So, um, that's good news. Well, and, and a good, we have a whole bolt that we can use to measure things with. So, next stop is just keep drilling and um, see how far we get. Here we are working on drilling. So, um, this drill bit, See how far it is in there? So if we take our drill bit out, keep our thumb there, we can see very, very close to the sandwich mark. See that line there? That's where they sandwich together. So, this is where that bolt that we got out whole comes in handy because if we stick this bolt up there oops a little bit there we go it's a good spot for it so this bolt we're so close to having all the threads drilled out um, So, so close. Maybe like a another sixteenth of an inch. One thread width. <clears throat> so that's this one down here. Um, with that we're drilling. So what I've just been doing is um, using a small one, alternating with a bigger one. Because previously I start really small to get my center hole. We can go through the whole process with one of the other ones, but um, just alternating drill bits, and I'll show you guys that later. And then I'm just using my, my cheapy, this Black & Decker box, and then that box came with the boat. <laughs> so I'm just using whatever cheap ones I can. The expensive ones will probably go quicker, but, they're expensive. 
I don't know. We'll see. I might get them out just to uh, just to see how much better they are. Um, and if they are significantly better, I might as well just use the expensive ones and then replace what I ruined. So that's where we're at. Keep drilling and, and see if we can get that thread width um, drilled out and then we'll break out the, uh, the heat again and the impact wrench. Here we go. All right, so this one down here is pretty much drilled out to the sandwich line. <clears throat> um, so now we're gonna start this one fresh. So the first thing we want to do is mark a center hole at the end of the bolt as center as you possibly can. So we have this center punch here that will help with that. So put it in there, give it a few bangs with your hammer. I should be using like a ball peen hammer, but I don't have that, whatever. So center punch. <clears throat> then once you find have a center, take a small drill bit, like pretty small, and put it in there, feel around to find your center hole. The center punch it won't even make a hole, it's just like an indent, it's not like super sharp. So it makes an indent at the end of the bolt, and then your super small drill bit goes in there, keep it as on center as you possibly can, and drill a little hole. Uh, using your small drill bit and then from there we gradually step up to you know a larger drill bit and then eventually I like to have because I'm not gonna really keep this piece so it doesn't matter if we nick the outside so I um, step up until we get uh, get a good a good fit in there and then eventually hopefully drill that all the way through to the sandwich and um, repeat on the other bolts. <clears throat> so I've already done my center punch, so let's get the tiny drill bit and do a tiny hole. Tiny drill bit. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys, but the idea is get your tiny drill bit in there and kind of feel around even maybe even feel your center punch divot that you made yeah right there so that's mostly on center might tilt it up a little bit to keep it on center um, but really this is just to give your larger drill bit uh, a biting chance so that's uh, that's the purpose of this step. So let's go ahead and do that. I won't be able to film and do this at the same time, so I'll be right there. Casualty number one, not bad. We've got one, two bolts out, and I broke one drill bit. So I will take it. Okay, quick update. So I've been working on the top one, and how deep it goes. See that? That's how deep it goes. So, wait a minute. My measurements are off. Because the bolt never did go all the way through. Let's go look at our Let's do this again. Let's get our, there's our bolt, our whole bolt. Hold on, let me grab that. Okay, got our whole bolt. So, this guy went like that. Okay, yeah, let's turn this a little bit more. Oh. So he went like that. So he didn't go all the way through to the end, which I knew. 
but I feel like see flush here yeah he's flush there so maybe it's like a thread and a half that hmm okay well let's see this this goes all the way in there mark it with our thumb yeah he's definitely passed so the bottom one's good the top one Top one. It's pretty dang close. So we should be through to our threads. So let's get a little bit of a bigger drill bit out and um, see if we can't drill the wall of our it bolts in there. Okay, so I got my bolts in there. Um, drilled out. Both of those are drilled out pretty deep. They definitely go beyond the sandwich. So now, let's pull this over. Kind of like that. And actually, let's just do it like that. And then, um, Get some heat on it. 60 seconds on the heat bolts with some heat, and then we'll use our um, this guy impact driver to see if we can get the, those two bolts up. Watch this. See this? Watch that 916th number spin around. <laughs> All right. So there's our whole bolt and the bolt that I just pulled out after drilling. Pretty dang complete. It's a little bit shorter, but that's probably because I drilled it. So that means that there's no remnants inside the hole that we have to worry about. So let's keep going. We've got two more to go, plus the, the through bolt. All right, here's what I learned. So I was using this extension to get a better angle on the bolt. Um, but I took that, and it wasn't really doing anything, so I took that off. And then just went with the regular socket here. <laughs> and it just popped right out. So, I don't know, maybe it was losing some torque because it was the, the you know fighting with this thing this thing was bending who knows I thought it was bending it was probably just loose but yeah putting the, the impact nut or socket right on the impact driver that uh, worked way better so before I ow get out of there anyway so I'm gonna try the next bolts that I haven't drilled 
I'm going to go straight to the nut or the straight to the nut with the impact socket. Let's see how that works. All right, the last two. So going straight from the impact drill to the socket didn't change anything for these two guys. So drill, baby, drill. Oh God. Day 297 inside the hole. Still working on the steering, so that's where we left off. So that middle bolt here, I started uh, drilling it out. It's mostly on center, which is good. So we will continue doing that. Got all my accoutrement down here and my drills and batteries up there. My wife is looking beautiful. <laughs> the sun is out, so no, we're in a good spot. So, let's get started. So, after, I mean, not very long, maybe like three hours total, like not, like three hours total, not, um, I got one of the bolts from the steering, the set screw, about a quarter of the away, a quarter, no, like an eighth inch out of four inches, an eighth inch the way out. And it was just brute force strength with the uh, half inch ratchet here. So I didn't even get to use my cool, well, I tried to use my cool tool, but it didn't really do anything. It just makes a lot of noise. All right, so that's the update for today, six o'clock. I'm going to put the tools away, clean up. So here's our power. So that's gonna be the power to our USB port. It's gonna go here. Uh, Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode.